is up guys welcome to another episode of math made easy and today we're going to be talking about um the we're going to be starting a new series guys it's going to be imagining large numbers okay four part i'm thinking about four part series depending on how much you guys like it you could do as many parts as you guys want so today we're going to be talking about the google and this is the smallest number we're going to be talking about in this series, so we ain't even getting started yet, but I hope I can help you understand. Google. Okay, so here's the Google. This is 10 raised to the 100th power, which is a 1 followed by 100 zeros. Okay, which I am too lazy to write down. So basically... How this notation we're going to be using is scientific notation. For those of you who are not familiar, something like 10 to the 5 would just be 10, I mean, a 1 followed by 5 zero. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it would take me all day to write down a, well, not literally, but take me a couple of minutes to write down a Google, but. So, this number, okay, 10 to the 100, big deal. Isn't that like about how much money Jeff Bezos has? No. Okay. This um is just an unimaginable number. <clears throat> Do you know why? Because there is nothing, nothing we can place a quantity to this number. So let's let's get started by just thinking about um. We all know what a million is, right? A million, in fact, I think about 10 million is about the population. Actually, about 3 million is the population of Manhattan Island. Okay? Times 10 to the 6th. This is 10 to the 6th. So this is the population of Manhattan, okay? Which, you know is very, you know, imaginable. I mean, just, you know, visit Manhattan and you'll see what I mean. Pretty busy there. <laughs> Glad I'm a rural country boy, but... Um... So now... What about, like, human wealth? Well, humans are 7.5 billion, so that would be 10 to the 9th. Okay, so 7.5 billion times 10 to the 9th power is going to be the abundance of humans on this planet. Actually, I should probably write this down. I'll undo this. So all of the people in the world seems like a, a unimaginable number, but now we have the richest man ever now. Here he is, guys. Um... So, the richest man ever in history is thought to be Mansa Musa of Mali. Okay. He was worth an approximate 400 billion. 14th century emperor in, you know, today's numbers. By trading gold and did a lot of great things for the em empire of Mali before it was conquered so unfortunately by Europe in the early 14th century so this is his wealth this is the most um, money that we think a person has ever had okay so <clears throat> so next um, we're in the pretty large numbers now I think it's fair to say So next figure on the board is the estimated population of ants in the entire world. Now, many of us think there are too many ants, and I agree, because there are only 10 to the 9th times 7.5 um, people, and there are 10 to the 16th ants. This is a colossal number. This is 10 quadrillion. Hope you guys know what a quadrillion is, but if you don't, then, yeah, I'm sorry. So... This is colossal numbers, but they get more bigger. Than this. More bigger, that sounded fun. Anyways. But in even more. You heard me right, we are not getting started.
some. Next. And we're checking all of the grains of sand. We just need to find the mass of the earth, correct? Which I happen to know is a million. Because our earth is about six times ten to the twenty fourth kilograms is the mass of our earth. And that's not just your all houses and all of the people combined. <coughs> That's, you know, the entire core of the Earth. All of these crazy things. It's unimaginable. So let's go on to the sun. Sun. This is a triangular sun with very large rays. Um, happens to be about 2 times 10 to the 30, so 2 nine million kilos. This is pretty insane! But, things get bigger. And now it is perhaps only logical to go to the entire universe. It has a mass of approximately, drum roll please. This is the observable universe, this is what we know of the universe. Has a mass of about 10 to the 51 kg. Pretty colossal. But that's just a little bit more. That's just 10 times the square root of a Google. We're not even getting started. I mean, we kind of have gotten started because this video has been going, you know, for a couple of minutes now. But that's okay. So next, we have the amount of atoms. Out of, out of kilograms into atoms, atoms in our solar system is 10 to the 56. Actually, it's 1.2 times 10 to the 56 so that nobody rages at me. And that is atoms. So next, what is logical? Mass of universe, atoms of solar system, atoms of universe. 80, 10 to the 80 is the, ma is the amount of atoms in the universe. But that's kind of Google. 10 to the 80. 10 raised to the 80 is the biggest quantity representable by anything in our observable universe atoms in the observable universe. Can you imagine this? It is not even a Google. So let's just for the fun of it try to make a Google. So let's say that we took um we took this many Earths, ten to the eighty, an Earth made up of the atom in the universe. And we took, and we had a mass of Earths with 14 times the amount of beaches, deserts, and stuff, 14 times the amount of grains of sand. And we would multiply that by this, and then times 14 while we're at it. And this gets us something that is very close. 10 to the 100 our, go our Google our Google it's not my Google it's not your Google it's our Google oh okay so I feel like I need to stop here because what else am I going to talk about I mean try to imagine the Google for the rest of your day just be thinking about the Google okay I don't care what you have to do just be thinking about the Google Tell me your ways to infinity. What do you think about this number? Of course, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, that was my best effort, and it was very bad.
but that's a wrap, guys. And that it's just it's just the fact the fact that the Google is the smallest number in this really large number series that I'm going to be doing. It's just humbling. Enjoy the Google and bow to the Google and have a nice day.